That was nuts. Got one. Drop shot, baby. Got him. I felt them. Oh, something tried to attack it. Baby bass. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and the first of YouTube, and welcome back to another exciting episode on the Get Em Outdoors YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm at this place right now where I just recently did a trout fishing video about a couple of months ago, but I also have been told that this place houses eight to nine pound largemouth bass. One of my buddies told me about the spot before I started doing trout fishing on it, and now we're gonna see if we can catch an eight pounder here. Hopefully I'll be giving I'll be able to get on some fish for you guys. Remember, if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to leave this video a like, and also leave a comment down below of what you think of the video, and also make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the post bell notifications on to be notified of every single video that I post here on YouTube. Without further ado, let's get into this, and let's catch some fish. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna be using the Whopper Plopper right now on my Luz Xfinity combo. Spooled up with my Americana Beyond Braid, 30 pound braid. Remember, code GETEM saves you 15% off at checkout. And we're gonna see if we can get on one here. There's a lot of bluegills around here, which is good. So there should be one on this backside over here, I'm thinking. There's right, there should be one right here. There should be. All right, it's drop shot time. Drop shot time. Let's see if it'll work. Oh, something tried to attack it. Baby bass. Huh. Did you guys see that? That was a baby bass. Tried to come up and hit that. That was nuts. Got one. Drop shot, baby. Drop shot. Drop shot. Stay pinned. He's a decent one. He's decent. Keep them pinned. He's trying. That's a two pounder. Looks like a two. Looks like a two, look at that. Nice two pound fish. Right on the bank. go baby there we go that's a one and a half tour okay I'll take that any day of the week I'll take that heck yeah let's put him on the big camera for you guys after I pop this out of his gullet not a bad one guys not a bad one at all he's probably 15 16 inches alrighty guys look at that one right there not too bad at all I will take it he's probably about a two pound we're gonna release him back after we weigh him and He's healthy and clean and everything. Drop shot with a Berkley Power Bait Max Scent Gobi, Gobi colored flatworm. 
Yeah, they love it. Smallmouth love it, largemouth love it. Let's go, baby. Fish bone. Boom. Alrighty, guys, let's see how much he weighs. He's probably about at one or two, I would say. Let's see. See what it says. 1.50. So a pound and a half. Not too bad. I'll take her. I will take her. Let's release her back. Alrighty. One pound, five ounce are going back in the water. We'll see you later. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Whenever you're ready, you go. Go ahead. Thank you. See ya. Alrighty, guys. Two pound, or almost a one and a half, two pounder. I'll take it for the first fish on the Gobi Berkeley Power Bait Flatworm. Remember, if you guys do want to get any iBobber products, make sure you use get them. Code get them. 15 saves you 15% off at checkout for all your eye bobber needs lures they have jerk baits they have all of that stuff including the uh, waterproof scale so let's see if we can get one more on this goby flavored flatworm all right so we got one on the Ger the berkeley flatworm let's see if we can get a couple more he came up right after it and got it so that was a pound and a half that's not too bad I'll take it. And I was kind of just jigging it up and down like this. I kind of felt something. I was like, wait, that's not a, that's not bottom. And all of a sudden, wham, whacked it. He had it in his mouth and I just kind of fought him to a point where he just walked. I wasn't really, I mean, I set the hook like a bat out of hell, but this is also eight pound test. So I can kind of do that a little bit with these guys. Depends on you know the size of the fish maybe not with an eight pounder but definitely with a pound and a half i can do it with and he was just sitting right over in that corner right there i kind of knew that he'd be right in that shallow pocket and sure enough well wham drop shot gets it done baby calling my shot oh okay hi <laughs> oh my god you are small but you are feisty Look at that. That's two. He just came up and choked the freaking worm. I was just reeling it in. See, this is why the drop shot is effective because literally, like, the size of the, the worm is about maybe double. He's probably double the size of the worm, but he's small. Future 10 pounder, though. I will say that. He's pretty cute. We will uh, see you later, bud. Thank you. See ya. All right, we'll make that two already in literally like five minutes of being here, if that. So, uh, yeah, I will, uh, I'll take that any day of the week. I saw him come up before, and I didn't even think about it. And then all of a sudden, well, wham, you know, he came up and whacked it. <laughs> that just goes to show that the drop shot will ca catch decent ones, and then they will catch very small ones. So it seems like it's a drop shot day, in a sense. I don't know why they're eating this goby color, but maybe just because it has a little gold in it and it's shining in the water, maybe. I'm assuming that's probably why. But, you know, I'll take what I can get here. Two bass within 10 minutes, I will take it on, especially on a, on a drop shot. Well, that wasn't that bad. That bird nested much worse. The Berkeley Maxent General has been my go-to for a while now. Mm-hmm. Got him. I felt them. I felt them. I don't know how big he is. He seems pretty big. Stand down in the water column though. He's not big. 
Eh. Maybe a pound. Maybe a pound. That ain't bad. I'll take it. On the wacky rig, I will take it. And it's a skin hook, so. Yeah. Not a bad fish. He's probably about a pound, so we'll release him back. I'm gonna throw him back over here. That's number three, though. Pretty nice fish. We'll get a picture and we'll release him back. Alrighty. We'll see you later. You're about a pound. See ya. Thanks. Bye. All right. Well, finesse tactics are working today. I knew he wasn't like giant, giant. But that I tell you that Berkeley Maxent General, guys, this Berkeley Maxent General slays them right now. Like no joke. For some reason, they just like it a lot better, this natural green pumpkin, over everything. And that just goes to show because I had a June bug, June bug color on before this. And they decided to hit this uh, green pumpkin. Black, like, I was horsing them in. It's all right. He was a little guy anyway. I'm not going to not gonna take that to heart. It was a nice little, nice little fish, though. Let's see if we can get him again. Looks like they're stacked over here. Yep, here we go. He was just hitting it. Here we go. Uh, that's another one, baby. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Really? A stick made me do that? That is embarrassing. Wow. I've seen it all now. A flipping stick literally made me think it was a fish. Yup, that one's, uh, this one's toast now. There's no way I'm getting this thing out. Look at that. That is Garbo. Oh boy. And I just spooled it up this mor this afternoon too. God, man. That sucks. That out. I don't know. Maybe it's just uh, 23 years of fixing my own uh, my own knots and everything that I've screwed up and all that other stuff. I'm normally good at getting snags out or bird nests and stuff like that because I've been so used to doing it in my younger years that I've just gotten to a point where I'm able to do it now. Very rarely do I ever say, "Oh yeah, I don't, I can't do that." I can normally get a snag out pretty easily. Alrighty guys, and that is it for today's video, you guys. We caught four fish in total. I had that fifth one on. I kind of was horsing it in because I, it was small. I didn't really want it, but we did throw some drop shots. We threw some uh, wacky rigs, Texas rigs. That Berkeley Max Scent stuff works terrifically in the summertime, especially with the Sankos, the General, and also the Flatworms. I've gotten so much luck here in New York with those baits, it's not even funny. I just caught a four pounder about a couple of weeks ago on it too, so there's full proof that it works. First fish of the day was a pound and a half or biggest of the day, really nice. Um, wasn't expected to catch him on the drop shot that quick, but we were able to get it done. Also, the second fish was kind of small, hit it right at the bank, basically. I'll take it. A uh, fish is a fish no matter the size. In my case, I really could care less um, how big it is, but it is a fish. Then the other two that we caught were on the backside over here. And yeah, I mean, other than that, an all around good, good, good day. So remember, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave this video a like, comment down below your thoughts on the video, and then also make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the post bell notifications on to be notified of every single video that I post here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you all in the next fishing adventure. And make sure when you guys are out on the water, 
to have fun, make memories, and go get them.